Yeah, the stealth games that give you only upgrades for killing people, even if non-lethal avoid is an option. Yeah, like uh, Dishonored. But I'll talk about that in a second after this, uh, I guess, cutscene, technically. Welcome to Hamburg. Is this where we finally meet face to face? Unfortunately, no. It seems I have yet another favor to ask of you first. Your work at the Dana Center was extraordinary. We now know that Beatrix Chung is the Eye, and we know she is currently staying here in Hamburg. I need you to send a message on my behalf. Tell her I won't be stopped. I'm not your lackey. Why can't you get someone else to do it? You are the best at getting into places you're not supposed to be. And surely, given the circumstances, there are other, other matters you wish to discuss with Mrs. Chung? Ms. Chung? Supposing I did, how would I find her? Go downstairs to the nightclub. A trusted acquaintance by the name of Mr. Schaefer is waiting to meet you. Oh shit, Tim Schaefer's here? Mr. Schaefer has a myriad, has a myriad of connections. That's improper grammar. If anyone would know how to find Mrs. Chung, it's him. I guess it's okay to write characters to have improper grammar, but that's... You would just say they have myriad... whatever, instead of a myriad of... But I don't want to be pedantic. There's gotta be something, like, around this corner. Anyone just put this here for no reason, right? 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 Come on. Please? But yeah, as I was saying, like, Dishonored definitely falls into that category, at least when I played it, of, like, it's trying to be a stealth game, but then it gives you all these cool, like, murdering techniques, which is, like, fine. Like, if you want to be a stealth murderer. But, like, good job being not seen by anyone last mission for a reward. Have a rocket launcher, yeah. It's got a lot of that kind of stuff where it's, like, it's not, like, stuff that'll get you seen, but it's, like, stuff that just makes you kill people, and it's just like, I just want to be stealthy. I love this song. It's alright. I don't know if I love it. It's a song. It's okay. Oh. It's not. I have to go down here. But yeah, I definitely like to see more games where... Like this, I guess, where all the items and stuff you get are kind of non-lethal avoidance stuff rather than qu kill people in cool ways but be sneaky about it stuff. It's this. So, hey, $100 just sitting there. Is that your money, buddy? Potion just nobbined. Was that good night? Good evening? Hey, stuff. There's only five this time. I can't believe there were 15 on that last level. Where else could they be? I feel like I went through most of the level. Well, we nubbined. We nubbined, Sinsi Frau Cleary? Yes, I am Sin. I mean, ich bin her me. Sorry, <laughs> do you speak English? Ja, Peter told me you are looking for someone who does not wish to be found. That is a very tricky thing to do, I think, but I may know someone who can help. It's a Schaefer. There's a drunk American fellow around here who was loudly yelling everyone at the bar about the job he worked last week. It seems that an anonymous source paid him handsomely to drive several blindfolded passengers to a residence just outside the city. A neon staff meeting. Even the guests weren't allowed to know its location. Sehr gut. It all makes sense. Speak with that obnoxious fellow and convince him to tell you the route. How will I find him? He was wearing a bright red shirt and shouting loudly in English. Shouldn't be too hard to find. After, go downstairs and meet my driver out front. She will take you wherever you need to go. Alright, sweet. Hey, my lobster face. Dishonored was really bad as it gave lots of XP for stealth and almost none for killing, but two upgrades helped you without killing anyone. Yeah, like, it, it, it rewards you for playing the game stealthily, but then it gives you more options to not play the game that way. I guess. Alright, so I'm guessing that's the American person with the red shirt there. Hey girl, you look thirsty. Can I buy you a drink? I'm so not interested. You've got beautiful hair. Fuck you, buddy. If you finish that sentence, I will literally murder you. 
Did you recently drive some blindfolded passengers to a residence nearby? Oh, yeah, it's a good, it's a good way. Uh, it's a good way to start a conversation. Is uh, if you continue your sentence, I'll literally learn anything. Oh, sorry, I lost her face. So I guess you can't hear me. Oh, I guess Twitch is uh, Twitch is uh, having some issues. I don't have time for this. Give me the directions and I won't tell your client that you are spilling secrets of global importance all over the bar. Fine, whatever. Here's the route I took. Good. What else can you tell me? The place looked like a fortress. And on the return trip, one of the guests said something about a panic room. So it's secure. What else? I swear that's all I was on, you crazy. Literally. Murder. Can I just murder him anyway? I, do I, have, I guess I don't have any murdering items. But I was just talking about this. How great it is that I don't have them. Sorry, I just stole your tip. Drinks are cash only. Uh, oh shit, I'm like dead. I'll take some schnapps. And, uh... Maybe some water. To... Not get drunk. You gotta match... Make sure you match every drink of alcohol with a drink of water. Sup? up? Mm-hmm. Hey, it's a DJ. Hey, I'm working here. You're not doing shit, man. You're just playing an iPod playlist right now. Let's go in the bathroom. Hello. Hey, if you're looking to score some stims, talk to my brother. He's hanging out around the corner from the club. Yeah, I just got a shit real bad. That's okay. Oh, hey. I wash my hands so this lady doesn't judge me. Hmm. Interesting. She's just gonna sit in the bathroom like that forever? I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. I feel like I just offend somebody trying to pronounce it. What was that? Oh, that was the men's room. I'm not gonna go in the men's room. I've been in men's rooms before. It's not a great place. Hey, buddy. Looks cool. I don't know what the deal with that is. Some interesting little windows. Some non cubic architecture. Surprising. Alright. Hey, look at that. I'm guessing that's. Hmm. That's the guy and that's the driver? It's around here though. Oh, well, it's gotta be something back here. Like, I'm just like walking down a creepy alley in Hamburg right now, but it's no big deal. I'm tough. Oh, come on, it's nothing. Nothing over here. Nothing at all. You know, I'm gonna check over here. Might as well put something there to reward my. Uh, this game always reminds me a lot of the original Deus Ex. Yeah. That's, I've definitely heard that a lot, is like, this is like, if you only played the first mission of the AXS over and over again. Or something. It does remind me of that, definitely. Your sister said you'd sell me some stims. Sorry, I didn't figure you for a stim head. What are you looking for? Uh... Let's see. Take, take a cloak stim. Wait, what is... What is this? You don't have anything stronger. You didn't get these from me, understand? Oh shit, okay. I like the Hudson Scrambler, that's pretty sweet. Nobbind. Uh, let's go! This is where it ends, Miss Cleary. Beatrix Chung, the leader of Neon, is holed up in this residence. Break in and tell her we won't be stopped. Any idea what, what sort of security I'm facing? The informant said something about the panic room. Ms. Chung has retreated to her panic room. You'll need to activate its failsafe mode to enter. There should be a keycard on the premise that opens the panic room in the event of a power failure. Find that keycard, cut the power to the panic room, and get it. You also want to disable any wireless transceivers on site to prevent Ms. Chung from sending an emergency signal. Find keycard, cut power, cut signal. I appreciate that she does this, because then I can just read this instead of 
looking at the uh, when you have dealt with Miss Chung, you'll finally be able to meet. Good luck. Okay. Now, I know I said that I appreciate her recapping what I'm supposed to do, but I need to check again anyway because thinking, trying to remember stuff and reading it out loud is somehow uh, very uh, difficult for me. I'm just going to save real quick. Okay, so disable the two transceivers, sail fail safe card, and cut the power to the basement. So I feel like cutting the power is probably what I should be doing first. First I'm going to check over here, because there's totally going to be something over here. Or there totally isn't, because... Fuck me. Yes. I can't make this jump into the dark side. Oh. I have to go over here where the light... It's dangerous. Alright, I'm just going to like... It's fine. Sneak over here. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, is this, is this a pool? Is this like filled, or...? Got a guard outside. There's a thing up there. I see it. I see you. Oh, wait, is that a guard? Oh, that's totally a guard. I thought that was a geocache based on the color. Or not the color, but like the. Oh, wait, what's this? It's literally nothing? Oh, come on. I thought this was gonna be some kind of secret over here. Or like where the generator is or something. Take on this guy and get some security card or something from him, probably. Got that key card to the entrance. I guess that's not entirely useless. What's this? Oh, hey, it's Stranger. Sometimes I worry that this is all a dream. What if I wake up? What if I never do? Man, you're such a downer. Oh, hey, it's Devil Masks from the Devil. Uh, the Devil area. Oh shit, I didn't even see this message. Did you ever play the original Deus Ex? I did! I played it a while ago. I also started a new game, like, a couple months ago, and then, like, never really went back to it for a while. Which I should probably do. But it's pretty fun. What is this? Oh, is this the panic room? This looks like the panic room. So is she in the panic room? Seems a little drastic. Can I steal those, uh, creepy devil heads? Alright, what the... what are these transceivers? Is it like the phones? I guess we'll just search around. See what we get. Help, it's a window there. It's looking at a wall two feet away. Don't worry about it. This is a fake fucking door right here. Or fake wall. For sure. For sure, dude. Is this a bathroom? It's a nice bathroom. Shit in it. Don't worry, no one's gonna notice that I flushed it. The There's gotta be a switch in here or something that door. Don't even act like that's not a fake door. Or a fake wall. There's no light switch in here. I guess there's no lights. This is just... Maybe if I turn off the light, it opens? No? Don't even tell me that this isn't a door. I can see the light. I guess... I can't. That's from there. Hmm. There's a switch in the bathroom? Hmm. And there's just a way around. It's like a way out. But yeah, you don't put a, a window right in front of your panic room for people to sneak in. It's got a switch. Shit. I don't want to be out here in the light. Oh, I guess there's nobody around. 
so there's another one of these. Aha! Ha ha ha! Hello, hello. What have we got here? Displacement orbs teleport you to their location when they detonate. Okay, that's great. I didn't know that's what they do. That is dope. That that is something I will use. Where is that? I got two of those. Oh shit. I should uh, close this up. So I should close this up. Yeah. The teleport definitely useful. the entrance, which is this right here. Oh. That goes somewhere. I need to look around more though. Ooh, hey. Good friends. It's okay. I'm just walking in the pitch black, can't see shit. What's that? That's a transceiver, is what that is. There's something on the ground over there too. What's in here though? Is this the entrance? Or it's a door? Hmm. I thought that's where I came from, though. Very strange. Let's try this out, see how that works. Oh yeah, that's, that's good. I like that a lot. Oh shit, okay. It's gonna be tough. No, it's fine, I got this. Oh, come on. Hurry up. Don't get caught. Oh, yeah, they're coming. Okay, it's fine. Alright, I shut one of them off. I guess that was the backup transceiver, which is Come back. I need your stuff. I'll just take your card. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Get out of here! Don't even see me! Don't you dare! Don't you fucking dare stare at me, motherfucker! God damn it! You bullshit artist, right there! Alright, so don't open the door, and the guy's standing right next to it. Let him get a little further away first. Oh, it's just a fucking bathroom! Fuck. Let's get that thing over there. So you just go around in a circle, so I should be able to- nope. Let's go over here. This? Upstairs balcony. Downstairs hallway. And a larger antenna for the range. Okay, so this one, the one I didn't get is upstairs balcony. Okay. I'd like to shut this off too. Should be okay. Just in case we run into any bullshit. Hmm. Don't really want to be in here. Can I see these devil masks though? It's pretty creepy. Creepy decor you've got going on here, lady. What's this? Oh, this is a note. Hope you're well. I'm sorry to bother you. Have seen the failsafe card in the panic room? I'm certain I had it when I showered, showed you around the house last week. Now I can't find it. Perhaps I dropped it in the gallery. This is the gallery, isn't it? Fuck me. Maybe this isn't the gallery. What's the point of the devil masks? Well, there was a previous, uh, segment of this game where I was on drugs and I was sneaking through an area filled with 
uh, creepy devil dudes that had that devil mask on. Okay. Why didn't I read that note if it was right there? But yeah, those devils were like the manifestations of my personal demons, which I guess is, now that I think about it, pretty obvious. Where's the stairs? I want to try to do this level without knocking anybody out. If I can. Okay. So I haven't seen any cards hanging around. This is a weird room. Like, who has a bedroom like this? It's very strange. Was this the stairs? Oh. Nothing, nothing going on here. Nothing, nothing to see here, buddy. No one here but us. Uh... Ooh, 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 buddy. What are you doing? How are you, sir? Ooh, ooh. That was the bathroom. That just goes outside. This one just goes outside too, right? Is there a way to get upstairs? In here? I feel like I've gone everywhere. There's gotta be a way to get upstairs. Maybe it's like around this corner? Let's let all these guys pass by. stairs anywhere. Oh, there's some stairs right there. Alright. We're sneaking. We're sneaking. Oh, that's the gallery. Okay. So I guess we gotta go in there and find the uh, key card that was around here somewhere. That was supposedly dropped. This is kind of interesting. Not the type of artwork I was expecting. Thank you, cards over there. Doesn't look like it's for me. Around this corner, maybe? Maybe one of the guards found it. Oh, is that something on the ground? Maybe it's just a graphical artifact. Hmm. I don't see anything. Oh! Hey, look at that! Now we just gotta find the balcony and the circuit breaker. This looks like a thing. It's probably the balcony. I would surmise. I don't know what's in here though. It's like a weight room? This is huge. I think that's a balcony. Oh, don't even come in here, motherfucker. Okay. It suck. Get out of here. There is nobody in here. Alright, this I mean this looks like a balcony. Hmm. I guess this is not a balcony. It's like a another entrance. It's coming in here, right? Close the door when he left. Let's come back. Um, so let's, let's get over here. Is there any uh, guards coming this way? I guess that guy's coming. We'll wait for him to pass and we'll go over here. I guess we could probably. Uh, probably wait for him. He'll be fine, yeah. around this corner. I believe. Nope. My beliefs. My 
or beliefs. Okay. Is this a balcony? That's a balcony. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Alright. Oh, there's a thing over there, though. I might just use a... Uh-oh. I need to be... I need to be in darkness. If I'm gonna do this, this is gonna take a while. This is going pretty well. Come on. Get in the hole. There you go. There you go. Easy peasy. Is there anything interesting on you? Hmm. It's probably not worth it. Just for one thing. I'll go for it. Float past this guy, grab that. That's definitely not worth it, but so be it. Alright, now I have to find the circuit breaker. To open the door. I should play Alien Isolation. Hey, if that game wasn't like a hundred dollars. Well it's not a hundred dollars, but that game was expensive as fuck, and also really scary. Oh, hello, friends. How are you? Good to see ya. Don't worry, there's nothing going on around here. We're all just hanging out. I don't know. I'd probably play Alien Isolation if I was given the chance, but... I just... I don't, I'm not gonna spend the money on it. Where the hell is the circuit breaker? That's what I want to know. Like, that should be outside, right? I guess not. I guess mine's in the basement. So that's probably where it is. These fucking guys are really, uh... Here, I have something to play with. It's like $25. Yeah, that's like, that's how much money I have in my bank account. It's $25. I don't think I can... And that I'm a game that I'm only kind of interested in playing. So, like, the circuit breaker is either outside or in the basement. And we've already been in the basement, so I guess it's probably outside. Would make the most sense. That's where I would guess it would be. Like, outside, kind of, like, you know, on the wall here somewhere. Like a little generator or something, kind of. Maybe that's it. Yeah, that's totally it right there. I'll get in there. Okay, so, I need to go out that door. Use these, I should have used these geocast tokens more. They're pretty cool. So you can just like do that. Sneak past this guy while they're occupied. Okay. Alright, so I went out here. Or did I even go out here? I think I just opened this door and. Alright. Basement is fucked. Now we can go. I think we're good. There's probably. Some geocaches I missed, but well, I mean there are. It's not rough. It's not probable. Let's go. Not sure where I'm exactly using that keycard on that door, but oh sweet, it's like a whole. I guess it's a panic room, not like a, a vault. And this little shower. I guess that's Chung. So I can just walk right up to you. I don't even care. You're just hanging out in here. Beatrix, we need to talk. You must be Jillian and Cleary. I expected you'd pay me a visit eventually. Do make yourself comfortable. It was very clever of you to break in like this, but you might have just knocked. In any case, you have my attention now. What shall we discuss? I'm innocent. Stop following me. End the invasive surveillance program. Quit harassing. 
Okay, so I'm innocent. Stop following me. Is definitely most interested I am in the situation. Neon has never had any interest in you, Jillian. It is your government which has been pursuing you? I have recently been aware that Director Furt Wengler falsified the charges against you to keep Neon's tracking program secret. While I applaud his loyalty to the cause, his actions were in error. We also know that Furt Wengler was taking bribes from the controlled stims industry to crack down on illegal stims manufacturers. Between these and other offenses, I expect the agency will have him removed from office shortly. So where does that leave me? I will negotiate with your government to see that charges against you are dropped. Your name will be cleared, and you may return to your life. We only ask that you continue to maintain your silence about me. I can't make that promise. And your freedom is not contingent upon it. But please, hear me out. I know that Peter Tanhazer has been assisting you. I know Peter well enough to assume that he will want something in return. I will implore you to speak publicly about Neon and the tracking program. I urge you to consider instead the lives which may be saved by your confidence in this matter. Uh, end of the program. I suppose you're referring to the tracking program that your agency tested on Mr. Gray's side. We have no intention of ceasing that program. The intelligence we gather by implanting persons of interest with tracking devices is simply too valuable. It's a gross invasion of privacy the public needs to know. Informing the public would jeopardize hundreds of current operations around the globe it would set our plans back by years and waste billions of dollars. I will not stop you if you decide to speak out, but I would encourage you to consider the value of keeping this secret. This secret destroyed my life, it almost got me killed. And for that, I am truly sorry. Director Fartwanker handled the situation poorly. I will make sure that his tenure as director of your agency is terminated briefly. If you wish to return to your job, it's in office would be yours within the year. All we would ask in return is for your silence and support of the tracking program. Hmm. We have heard both sides of the story. Uh, how about quit harassing Peter Tanhauser? Oh, but where is the fun in that? Our business is keeping secrets. Pe Peter has made it his life's work to sell everyone's secrets but his own. He is a thorn in the side of every government and every corporation. It's only fair if we use his own sordid past against him. People like Peter keep governments and corporations in check. Perhaps, but Peter's method is a shotgun or a scalpel would suffice. He could pull the whistle on corruptions to keep secrets. For example, I trust that your testimony against Dr. Pert Wengler would be rather informative, and you would not need to make any mention of the Of course. Go speak with Peter in the morning, find where your loyalties lie, and then make your choice. Of course, you are free to lay upon your wish. Remember, there is always value in secrets. You could work with me and use secrets to save lives, or you could let Peter profit by selling secrets to the public. This is your choice, and I trust you will consider it wisely. Hey, I got an A! I didn't get all the geocaches, though, so I didn't get an S. Oh, I should have played this whole game trying to do no takedowns. It feels so much better to get an A. Mixed with all those Fs. I wanted the S, though. Okay, uh... Hmm. Oh, boy. So we gotta make quite a choice here, don't we? Well... Let's go to Tanco and see what they've got for us here. Hello. Good morning, how can I help you? I'm Jillian Cleary, I'm here to see Mr. Tanhauser. Of course, Miss Cleary. He's upstairs in his control room. Can I like look around? Can I go in here? Who are you? Oh, hello! This is Jillian Cleary. I'm finish up a story about you. Do you have time to answer some questions? Maybe later. I need to speak with Mr. Tanhauser. Oh, of course. He's probably up in the control room getting ready for this morning's broadcast. Where is everyone? I thought this place would be busier. Our profit margin is pretty slim. Peter had to let a couple of the other guys go last month. Yeah? Well, I mean... Journalist gonna journal. Hey, what up? Steal the card from the receptionist? Steal the card? What are you talking about? What card? What's up, camera operator? Can I help you, miss? I'm looking for Mr. Tanhauser. Oh, he's upstairs in the control. 
this the only studio? Imagine this place would be bigger. This is it. Pierre likes to talk a big game. We're on a lean operation here. This is pretty weak. This is pretty weak. Hmm. So over here, a nice little window. It's pretty sweet. Nice view. Hey, buddy. Oh, nice office style. Got a lot of useless desks up here. Mrs. Cleary, at least, at last, we meet in person. Thank you for your hospitality, Peter. Of course. It is the very least I could do for one such as yourself. How was your meeting with Miss Chung? Can I trust that Neon will not be bothering me anymore? Beatrix assured me of my own freedom, but I couldn't convince her to leave Tanko alone. I see. Even in light of your circumstances, Neon cannot perceive the danger in keeping secrets. I suppose Miss Chung tried to convince you to remain quiet about what you have learned? Yes. She believes the world will be a safer place as long as Neon can continue to operate in secret. Disappointing. But I am glad for your safety. In any case, it seems you will not be needing sanctuary here after all. But perhaps we may still work together in some capacity. Where do your loyalties lie? What do you hold dear? We will present our morning broadcast shortly. So, Ms. Cleary, what shall we tell the world today? Uh, tell them everything. Fantastic. Thank you for this opportunity, Ms. Cleary. This will be our biggest story ever. And of course, the value to the public is incalculable. We shall open their eyes to the truth and shake their faith in the establishment. I believe this is, the on this is only the first step to transferring the face of reporting. Would you join me at Tanco and continue to shine a light on the secrets of the world? Uh, nah. Nah, I'm okay. I'm sorry to hear that, but I understand. You only ever wish to be free. It's going to be a beautiful day. Go enjoy it with your open eyes. Nice. Yep. So I got some nice choices at the end there. You could, I probably will uh, load the save and see what I get with the other choices. But yeah, that's uh, Neon Struct. See, that's what about that's about what I thought was left of this game, but. Uh, the mission select had me worried that it would be a little longer, but it was really good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the, uh, the story and the gameplay. Oh shit, there's uh, post credits shit going on here. What's, what is this? Oh, this is like a... Uh, it tells you what happens. Director Furt Wengler was fired from the agency for his involvement in the invasive surveillance program. Bert Wengler died in 2017. His autopsy revealed a lethal combination of stims and alcohol. Jillian Cleary. Following the public rev revelation of Neon and the invasive surveillance program, Jillian Cleary was hailed as a hero of the people. The agency quietly dropped all charges against Cleary, disavowed any knowledge of Neon, and ceased its participation in the tracking program. Cleary returned home and established an independent security consulting firm which she sold in 2025 for $200 million. She now travels the world and makes an annual visit to Hamburg to see Peter Tannhauser. Nah. But Vinod. Unknown to the public, Vinod Chipler has remained in, in indefinite detention since the events of October 2015. He has not been allowed any contact with his family or with Jillian Clary. Oh no! Alyssa Lawrence was released after 48 hours of questioning. She refused to give up any of the names in her underground network. Until her death in 2028, Lawrence continued to assist individuals who needed to live and move in secret. Okay. Peter Tanhauser. With Jillian Cleary's blessing, Peter Tanhauser published the full details of Neon, Beatrix Chung, and the Invasive Surveillance Program. The agency publicly disavowed any knowledge of Neon, but quietly ceased his participation in the tracking program. Public interest in the matter, coupled with Tanhauser's business acumen, the obtained code's most profitable quarter to date. Tanhauser currently resides in Hamburg and continues to champion independent journalism. Yeah, journalism! Following the public revelation of Neon, Beatrix Chung was relieved of her job at the British Embassy. The agency publicly disavowed any knowledge of Na Na Na. Despite the setback, Chung still believes in Neon mission and has attempted to rebuild it over the past 15 years. Neon's current status remains a secret and there is no evidence that its programs have improved a global security. Of course not. Also, we got Monitor Singh. So 
arrested on suspicion of illegal entry to the end. Oh shit, I forgot to delete this crap. Oh wait, I did delete this crap. Currently resides in London and works as an independent. Okay, he's fine. That's the only character I cared about, really. Unit. Unit was arrested for illegal possession of explosive devices. Subsequent investigation also revealed their long history of computer fraud. She served five years in prison for these crimes and is no longer allowed to use any network electronic device. Oh, that's hell. That is hell. Mr. Grayside was tried for the illegal manufacture of stims but acquitted on account of the questionable discovery of the evidence against him. He currently resides on a private island in the Bahamas. Eh, alright. Bouchards? Bouchards attempted to capitalize on the Jillian Cleary story by inventing a narrative in which they bravely tried to shelter her. Cleary has never publicly refuted the Bouchards account, but she has not spoken to them since that night. Yeah, fuck those guys. Hey. I'm going home now. Are you coming? Yeah, let's go. Alright. So that's the Unstruct. Uh, yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. I might play it again. Like, probably off stream, but like try to get like S ranks and stuff. And I might load the, uh, the last level and do the different choices and see what uh, what else could possibly happen, but I think that's uh, all I'm going to do for now. Um, so I guess after this, I will be starting uh, some Star Wars games. I'm going to play through all of the uh, Kyle Katarn games in a row. Not like all at once, but I'll start with the Dark Forces, I think, is the first one. And then I'll go through all those. Because it's still... I, I had planned on doing that when the uh, the bundle came out with like all the Star Wars games. But then I, I, just, I wasn't like really into streaming for a while. But now I'm getting back into it, so maybe I'll start that sometime next week. Although next week's E3, so maybe I won't be streaming too much because I'll be watching those. Maybe like before and after. Also, yeah, if you're going to watch E3, I'll probably host all the things on there if you want to come hang out. I don't know if anyone... I don't know if anyone's gonna want to hang out, but I'll I'll do it and see if people hang out for it, and that's fine. I'll be I'll be hanging out and watching uh, all the E3 stuff, so feel free to stop by and see what's going on, and uh, make fun of dumb E3 stuff with me. But otherwise, I'll see you around some other time. Thanks for coming. Have a good night.